Hello, people of the internet. I am Zorak Dragon, and welcome back to XCOM 2. Last time we did the Advent Black Sight mission, winning it, however, not without any losses, as you can see here. Black Sight's gone, though we do have a retaliation mission we need to do. But yeah, did take some losses. We lost our best ranger. Um, We've memorial. done what we can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. Fallen soldier. It's not much, but it gives our people a chance Here to pay go. their respects. Yeah. Um, we lost her. Lost her to an Advent Trooper with an Advent Mag Rifle. Yep. Uh, we don't need to have an FPS. So yeah, we lost them. Um, we do have a mission to do right Our off the bat. Our research is progressing as expected, Commander. Faceless autopsy will be done soon. And we do have... I think our whole A squad wounded. Yeah. And Eduardo here is not really suited for this kind of mission. So I suppose we'll be taking in Silvio, Stephanie. Yeah. Silvio, Stephanie, and then two rookies on this one. Hopefully that is a wise decision. Excuse me, good gracious. Alright, so yeah. Retaliation site, West Africa. Confirmed. Winter Shriek. Setting force for the West African sector. So we know there's going to be faceless in this mission, which is never easy. And yeah. Just a bunch of stuff like that. So, make items. No, not build items. I wanted to make items available. We don't need any nanoscale vests. We can't really use them anyways. So make utility items available except remove Corporal Ruiz and put in Rookie Roberti. There we go. Alright. And our specialist will of course have a med kit. Alright. That looks to be good. Go with this squad. Hopefully we don't lose too many people. It is a retaliation mission, and we are going in with half rookies, so I'm not exactly super deployed. optimistic. In position for deployment. Granted, we do have a good sniper. Somewhat. To stop Avent retaliation, rescue at least six civilians and neutralize civilians all enemy can. fortresses. Eliminate all Forces. hostile forces, forces attacking the site. Yeah. Make them regret coming after the resistance. I will. Don't worry, Bradford. I will. So, traveling to the drop point. Come on. Let's get this mission going. There we go. We're launching this. After that success of last mission, I do feel like we might be in for a bit of a bad time. But I'm not gonna be hopeless here. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units. So yeah, this is why the stealth and ranger would have been so useless. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Yeah, because we won't have a concealed position. Lack of concealment is not great. Um, let's get our rookies moving forward Good copy. Moving first. On target. Automatically trigger a pod, it looks position. like. And it's a Viper and Stun Lancer. What joy. And this guy cannot even see them. Alright. Um, full cover is better than half, obviously. We could launch a grenade, possibly. No. Launching a grenade probably would not be blocked. Uh, 36. Yeah, let's launch a grenade and get rid of this one's cover. That Viper being vulnerable is very good. Oh, we also neutralized the Stun Lancer's cover as well. That's useful. This guy still does not see a thing. Alright. Move to half cover. On my way. Silvio. And then take a 78 to kill the Viper. Missed. Crazy. Not much of a hit. That's not good. Okay. 
Um, you can go on Overwatch, and I'd like to get you to some high cover. So we should probably start moving you towards it. Um, there's high cover there, so we'll move you moving here. To designated coordinates. And then you get a pistol shot in on this Viper for the kill. There we go. So the Viper's dealt with. Got and that was a big one. Shot or Stun Lancer is out of cover. Looks like we have another Viper over there. Amelia was killed. So we know we have at least another pod with a Viper. What else, though? So yeah, this guy is going to move in close. Trigger Overwatch. Which is death. Wow. Done, my rookie. Very well done. You earned that promotion for sure. Okay. So that was actually very, very good. Um, we want to get our sniper to some high good ground. Good copy. Moving on target. Well, they are a pistol sniper. We still want to have some vantage here. Heading to that location. This one is a good hit. Move out. They're not a faceless, which is a plus. Um, just fire that way. We should probably stick to one side rather than trying to split our forces Moving too out. much. So, yeah. Do it like this and move. put everybody on watch. Come get some. Come get some. Affirmative, covering now. Come on. There we go. And we might actually trigger this pod next turn. Tell my kids I... Critical hit. That had to suck. So, yeah, we can probably trigger that viper through our sniper here. On the move! Them here. We do not. Okay. Uh half cover. Moving! We're making big moves with Charlie here. They do have that motion waiting for them, so ideally they don't die. Moving. So just take this slow and steady. Moving just to like we position. took that one mission. Moving to Overwatch. Moving we just to have Overwatch. to rescue Overwatch. six. Come get some. We've rescued one. So we're a sixth of the way there, you know. And another. Speak. I'd go out like this. Stefan Hahn. We're losing civilians. Yes, left I know, right, Central. Commander. I can't do we much about it. We need to get these people out of here. I really cannot do too much about the losses. Except for try and trigger a pod. This guy is a faceless. Headed there now. We could be in trouble. You're clear. Go. You're not a faceless. You are a civilian. That's good. I want to try and trigger this fight. We can trigger it, then. That's affirmative. Things could be a little bit easier. Then get our sniper to half. Understood. Full. Moving out. Hopefully this does not collapse under us. It does not look the sturdiest, but got it covered. Yeah. Got it covered. Come get some. Okay. Everybody's on Overwatch. Will you just move into range here, people? Advent. Whatever you are. Gosh, we're a third of the way there. There's still seven left to save. Okay. Heading there now. Full cover. Still don't trigger. Gosh, darn it. We gotta make big moves here, don't we? I've got eyes on Advent. Finally! Moves. And it's not even the Leviper's pod. It's a pod of an officer and two troopers. Okay. It's better than nothing, at the very least. Alright. Sniper have any shots? I do have squad sight shots. Hold off on use. You've already taken one shot. 
Do you have a grenade? You've already taken your action. Full cover. You have a single shot. You only have one move. You have no grenades. Can we grenade away some cover? We can. Let's get rid of the officer's cover. Officer exposed. You have a 72, 67, and a 46. Go for the 46 on the trooper. Get the kill. Awesome. You should have a promotion Target now down. as well. Do. Um, only a 43 on that one, but take the 72 on the officer. There we go. Officer down. Enemy eliminated. Dropped something. Might be something Not we could use here. Too likely to reach it though. And take the 43 with the sniper, because you are out of pistol range. And get that kill. Alright. Well done, my sniper. Enemies down! So we know there's a pod of a viper still. And the face has just revealed itself. That can be very bad for us. And we trigger the final pop. Okay. Um, final pod has made its movements. How close will this faceless get? It's going to get close enough to get off an attack. And the attack is a kill. Shit. Three on four situation now. Three on four is not pleasant. We have no grenades. What are our shot chances? 99 to do a six to eight. We have to take it. Six. Hit the bare minimum. This guy needs to die though. He is the biggest threat. 81. All right, baseless is down. Target neutralized. You moved fool. Good copy. Moving on target. Um, 58. And then there's two normal troopers. We have to take the shot at the Viper. Weaken it at least. So that one of our other troops can get the kill. The Viper is likely going to go back. for the tongue move to bind. Yep. Grab and bind. Uh, this looks a little ugly. Two damage. Knocks out one of our units. But we still have two more. Theoretically, at least. As I said, that was completely theoretically that we had two more. We lost both of our fucking rupees because miracle shots here. Okay. We have a 93 on that guy. Free our trooper. Kill the Viper. Critical strike on Viper is awesome. Enemy destroyed. You are out of ammunition. Not the best. Um, no longer bound, but then you do have movement. So... Here, first. Closing on target position now. Not flanking. And take the 66. You missed. Not good. I need ammo. This is bad. Okay. Is that all you got? He is flanked. Good Lord Almighty. We survived. Okay. That was a miracle survival. We did lose equipment. Or loot, rather. I'm fine with that. Take a reload. Unfortunately, that does leave us with only the pistol, which 
could not fire from this far away. On Overwatch. Reload. Reloaded. Take the 90. There we go. No guarantee that these two are going to survive this mission, unfortunately. Well, at least one should theoretically survive. Okay, both of them will end up surviving this mission, though our support our specialist here is going to be very critically injured. Move here. On the move. Get the flanking shot. 91 kill. That's right. Shoot his corpse. Enemy down. Oh Lord Almighty. Oh no. No! Oh fuck. There's another. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. We have another faceless. I think we might just be out of its range. Oh shit. Oh, I should have expected this. I should have expected another faceless to pop up. I really should have. Seven damage is good. We've got three left. We can do this. 87. We gotta move in closer. Cover is not gonna matter against this thing. 91. Please. Please be the last Enemy of them. Down. It's the last of them. Menace one five status confirmed. This We're not mission, up any I knew contacts. that it was not going to be a good one. Status confirmed. At least we mission only lost both of our rookies, to be honest. Even though our support, our specialist is probably going to be critically injured, sadly. We did lose two, which sucks quite heavily, quite heavily indeed. Um, but yeah. It was a success, if you can call it one, and I will, because a success is a success. Okay. Please do not saddle me with another mission so quickly, though, because I am running out of troops. Literally, all I've got right now is this sniper and then a bunch of rookies, and not that many rookies at all, actually. And I didn't bother with the body pickups because much reclaimed that piece of land so they're gonna get proper burials regardless all right so gravely wounded gravely wounded and then the two rookies are both dead um take the revival protocol only 10 days out which is not bad and then take lightning hands firing your pistol at a target this action does not this attack does not cost an action very nice. And then we got just some corpses. Hello, Commander. Get um, a monthly income increase of 23 supplies. Okay. So we only have four soldiers available. One of them is our stealth rookie, or stealth ranger. One of them is our gunslinger sniper. And the others are rookies. Everybody else is under lockdown from having no health. Fantastic. Alright, so that causes supplies. We need the rookies more than we need Avenger supplies right now, to be honest. Course. So head here and pray that we do not get an interruption in the form of another mission. Not okay. think I could have autopsy this is done. Outcome, though it is intriguing. I've often wondered how the Come aliens on. could conceive of such a being. Is there another world out there Let filled Tegan with these shape-shifting creatures, and or then we can are they merely this. another construct of alien genetic tampering? Faceless autopsy, code name Protean. Early reports from the Resistance referencing an alien creature said to be capable of shape-shifting were initially dismissed by local cell leaders who attributed the sightings to combat stress and malnutrition. 
It wasn't until our own forces engaged with the creature that we successfully confirmed its existence. Surprisingly enough, the description of the creature from Beto's early reports was quite accurate. With varying height of up to three meters, the specimen currently referred to as the Faceless has one of the most unusual internal structures I've ever encountered. Where one might expect to find a skeletal foundation, we instead find a series of valuable chitin-like structures providing various points for the expansion of several equally unusual fluid membranes. <coughs> the membranes in question are responsible for the face's extraordinary ability to mirror the form of a human and recirculating the key cellular component combinations via elaborate internal structures faces is capable of forming solid shapes while also merely colors and textures without physical sampling. As of yet, we've only seen evidence of the faceless attempting to imitate humans, but not other species or inanimate objects. Whether or not this is a limitation of their genetic makeup or an intentional manipulation of their abilities by the aliens, we cannot say at this time. New item available, the Mimic Beacon. Ger generates a holographic decoy to draw enemy attacks for one turn. Deployed like a grenade, drawn to the site where the decoy will appear. Alright, we are running out of these, so... Really wish we could do psionics, man. Um, I think plated armor would probably be best. I do know I still have those to do, I'll that work but... Begins immediately, Commander. Yeah. I'll contact you when I have a full right, report so we got available. a supply drop in five days. Shielded power cell will be done in nine. Moving our soldiers five days until we get our specialist back and then seven days for our grenadier okay so we need at least a week to pass with no missions please game okay it's just the dark event um cost for increasing for recruiting recruits is increased by 100 percent for a month i am fine Commander. with that the aliens have made significant progress toward their goals. Okay, so they just new constructed a new alien facility up around the world. in South America. We can't exactly do anything about it. It only raises the dark vent counter by one. In fact, let's check this. So, three weeks till another construction, and five weeks till a retaliation strike. I can deal with that. Alright, we got one, two, three, four rookies. Remnants of an incomplete advent settlement were found throughout the area, abandoned before finishing construction on the project. Scans located at a nearby a small resistance cell nearby responsible for the sabotage. So we get four new rookies. That is awesome. Completely and totally okay with that. Doubles are currently available squad. Um, I just want to check Wills here real quick so I can have an idea of who could be our psionic rookie. And we don't have any. So it'll pretty much be up in the air who we choose. And one day till supply drop. Let's head to the Avenger stadium new course. to try and pick up some supplies, I suppose. We're gonna need to start trying to make progress to um, India soon. Okay, so we're gonna need to make contact with East Africa. Which then can make us make contact with Eastern Europe, which then lets us make contact with India. That alien facility has two ticks of the Avatar project, so once we take it down, it will decrease by two. Commander, the aliens continue by to make progress one. on the Avatar project. If we're yeah, going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. We're gonna have to make a lot of haste on moving there. Incoming message for starting you, the next month. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance okay, under your leadership, myself. Commander. And Stopped you a lot of stuff. Got 226 supplies incoming. Um, let's go ahead and reveal this hidden event. Rapid response. Guaranteeing reinforcements on all guerrilla ops for a month. That will be annoying. Got a supply drop there. We have a fair amount of supplies. We should actually make the contact with East Africa now. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Well, that's something. Um, I'm gonna take to four, three, regional contact. two, one. All right, we made contact with East Africa. That's. Good. 
We're reading you. So, 66 you more supplies. Eastern located. Europe is now available. And we do have a supply drop. And we gain the future combat bonus. Let's head to this supply drop. And we can't make contact with anywhere else until we have up facilities. Which will, I suppose, be the next thing to build after we get a power facility. Alright, the power, the power coil shielded has been cleared. All of our engineers are back, and we got 20 Illyrium crystals. So let's go ahead, back out of all this. Back to Illyrium crystals. Was it crystals or cores that we needed? Research is proceeding as planned, Commander. Can we? Commander, with the advent officer currently in cold storage, we should perform the autopsy as soon as possible. Okay, we gotta finish plated arm first. Dr. Shen's constant so, vigil over my activities is starting to wear thin. Power quails are I powerful shield faces. I consider myself a patient man, but eventually, she's going to have to trust me if we're going to achieve our goals. Okay, Tegan, you have trust issues. Um, power shield, power coil shielded. Power coils are powerful spaces for slowly construction. Facilities draw no power. Power relays generate considerably more power. So we will go ahead and build a power relay here. Power relay construction initiated. Um, okay, put an unstaffed engineer. Build time is down by 50%. And then we want to start clearing the debris out of here. That will not Empty it. No, I didn't mean to click all this. Back. Thank you. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for us. Excavate. There. You can have them working on construction, 20 days, or staffing a facility. No. Commander, want... I'm going to need more help on the engineering team before I can start clearing out some of yes, the Yes, I buildings. understand, Shen. We should recruit an engineer. Shen, shut up. Okay, let's stop this rather. I want to be able to do it fast. And this one is only a 10 day one, and it will be adjacent for a future room I plan on building. building. So 10 days there is good. Back away. Only one wounded left. Power relay in seven days. Okay. So go back to collecting supplies. All supplies have been collected. I know there's new staff. Avengers starting new course. So we need, we need, we need, we need, we need. Actually, let's check out black market first. Avenger plotting new course. Yeah, check out the black market here. Market is open. Okay. Interested in our scope. Uh, yeah, go ahead and take the scope. Take the repeater. We're keeping all of our corpses, though. And then, bye. Uh, Lyrium crystals, advanced scopes. Rush research on plated armor. 25 intel. We. Ah. Uh, we need the intel. Actually, no, we can. Rushing research on plated armor cuts it down to three days. Commander, we as can't of right make contact now, we don't have enough we, intel to get a well, solid bearing on the local the intel, resistance forces the, um, in that area. Capacity with our current facilities. So, Avengers once we get the course. capacity for our current facilities, we can research the advent data pad, which will provide us with intel, and then you know we can go from there. One and ah, oh! ignore for now. We have Gorilla Ops targets. We'll do that in the next video. Um, this one will stop the alloy padding. Records us with the scientist. This one will reward us with intel. Increases all game intel cost by 100%. Probably gonna have to do that one. And this one will reward us with supplies. So we'll probably have to do Operation Hammer Killer. But it's going to be a bit of scumminess. So. I'm actually going to make a quick save here under my special Let's Play save.
Confirm the overwrite. And we're gonna scum this. We're gonna try and get plated armor before we are forced to do a mission. So. Okay. Skip. I have okay, made a yes. number of we got plated armor. Discoveries, Commander. We still have those up there? Good. Plated armor. Code name York. We've recovered enough of the advent armor to begin repurposing the outer plates into something better suited to our soldiers. The material itself seems to be the same as what the aliens utilized throughout the Avengers Hall, an extremely durable substance with an unusual ambient magnetic property. As an armor component, the magnetic field surrounding these plates will provide will actually provide additional protection against magnetic-based weaponry. Most notably, the Gauls weaponry commonly equipped by the Ad. Aw, Tegan. So, new item available, Predator Armor, using scavenged parts of plates of Advent Armor, provides increased protection and additional inventory capabilities. Um, Proving Ground Project, Proving Ground is not something we've built, but the spider suit, spider records from Ryu and Mainframe at XCOM HQ indicate an early prototype for the light armor suit, coupled with a grappling hook, never came to fruition. Recent mastery of the alien's materials may allow us to revive the concept. So that gives us some idea of when the last time failed. Um, if we combine the power-assisted armor prototypes we've been working on with some of the advent plate we've recovered, we could develop a heavy variant of our plated armor. More importantly, we might be able to add a heavy weapon mount directly to the armor, combining significant defensive and offensive capabilities in a single suit. And then we also got the Illyrium research, but as I said, we're going to start on the psionics research, because psionics is huge. Although we've seen them wielding psionic powers before, our recent encounters with the aliens have truly shown us how they are able to deftly manipulate the flow of psionic energy and use it to their advantage. If we were to master it as well as they have, potential applications in the field would be... I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify sure you as soon you as the report is available. And then we're going to build some armor. Um, squad upgrade. We need 20 alien alloys in order to get predator armor. For everybody. I've been digging through some of the old data files okay. Central has been holding on to since before the war. And just making sure, yep, the guerrilla missions are there, so I will be ending this video off here. Next time on XCOM 2, we will go ahead and do these guerrilla tactics missions. Um honestly, I'm not entirely certain which one we want to do. Supplies, it's not really a big thing. The intel would be very good because then when we get the one thing up, we can actually rush to Eastern Europe and then possibly rush to India, which would let us take out the alien facility, which would decrease the doom counter pretty much. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course, this is a difficult level mission, and it also stops the alien cipher, which is pretty good. And. Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna go for, to be honest. But yeah, for now, I've been Soul Rack Dragon. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. If you guys want to check out more videos by me, be sure to check out my channel below. And if you like what you see, drop me a subscription. Outside of all of that, though, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic day, everybody.